Well, here we are in the second half of September, and we have yet to have a landfalling storm this month along the East Coast. The question is, will we have any this month? I'm here to tell you, I don't think so. South Florida is a little one area I could see it, but for the rest of the country, I think we can go this entire month without a landfalling storm. That's a big statement to make. All right, we have been telling you about this, though. We've been concerned about what? The, uh, the Caribbean as an area to watch out for, for development. Why? Because we have warm water and lowering wind shear. That's the key, lowering wind shear. The water has been plenty warm enough this entire month. In fact, much of this year, the water has been warmer than normal here. And these are the water temperature anomalies here. Not only is it warm, but you see this orange area? You're looking at water temperatures about three or four degrees above his historical averages. So warm water is not a problem at all. Now, we're not going to worry about Gabrielle, but there is one tropical wave I want to keep an eye on. This is it right now off the west coast of Africa. Now, don't expect to hear much from this system the rest of this week, and I'll show you why. It's going through very hostile conditions, low, uh, very high wind shear and dry air. However, next week, it enters into the Caribbean. If there's anything left, and I mean anything left, moisture or structure-wise, it has a chance to develop in the Northwest Caribbean here. I want to show you the modeling, and I want to show you what this wave has to get through to be able to develop here. This is the wind shear product here, and it's pretty simple. The darker colors shows wind shear. So again, this tropical system right now, this is the west coast of Africa. These are the islands right here. This is located in here. This is the wind shear shown today. Look at all the yellow, look at all the yellows and blues. Take a look at Sunday. It's still going to be getting through this wind shear to the east of the islands. Let's take a look at Monday. Now, by Monday, this tropical system will be right in here. It's lower wind shear. You see some blues, but you see the wind direction? It's coming out of the west-northwest. That's going to weaken it. However, as we get into Wednesday, all of a sudden, it gets into the Caribbean. And what do you start seeing? This lower wind shear. You notice that? Let's take a look at Thursday of next week right here. How about Friday of next week? Right here. There's no wind shear. No wind shear in the Northwest Caribbean. So as a result, we're going to track this. I think a lot of people are going to forget about that. This time of the year, you know the rule. We don't forget about anything. We track these systems till they either go over land or dissipate. There's a low chance of development because there may not be anything left of this. If it develops, it's almost eight days from now. I am starting to think, though, it is going to be very unlikely, very unlikely this month for anything to get into the Gulf of America and uh, develop. Look at the wind shear here. There's our wind shear. Look at all this wind shear in the Gulf. You see that? And off the East Coast. Anything that tries to come up toward the East Coast is just going to get shredded or pushed to the east. And when you look at the weather pattern, this struck me today. I want to show you the, uh, the weather pattern across North America right now. What do you see in North America right now? This is the weather pattern for next week already. As we get in, next, this is next Wednesday. What do you see? Dip in the jet stream. Westerly winds along the Gulf of America, uh, Gulf and off the East Coast. What about the end of the month? By September 30th, what do you see? Troughiness, dips in the jet stream, producing the what? West-Southwest winds. Anything trying to come out of the Gulf, the only location it could possibly impact would be South Florida. But if this pattern continues into October, you can cancel out most of the Gulf, you can cancel out Texas, and you can cancel out the East Coast for any landfalling storms. If this pattern continues, and right now, I think it can. And that's the big story there. South Florida is the one area to watch. But for the rest of the country, if this trough continues in the eastern and central United States, there won't be any landfalling storms. And that's the huge statement we're making on the feed.